There's some pretty great news out today, from possible coffee lake leaks to a new rise in Motherboard and Threadripper's first Motherboard. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. Before I get started, if you like the video, definitely make sure to subscribe. It helps out the channel and also helps me bring you more hardware and gaming content like the upcoming Ryzen build livestream, which should be coming in about a week or two. I actually plan on placing the order for parts this weekend. Okay, first up today, we have a supposedly leaked CPU-Z screenshot of Intel's rumored upcoming 6-core i7-8700. I know that's a lot of maybes, but at this point I'd be shocked if Intel doesn't offer a 6-core CPU in their upcoming Coffee Lake refresh. It was originally reported by XFastest and later video cards, and as you can see, it's got a base clock of 3.5 GHz with a current boost during this test of right around 3.9 GHz. It's placed at a max TDP of 80 watts and comes with 12 MB of L3 cache. XFastest seems to think it's the rumored i7-8700 CPU and positions its clock capable of boosting as high as 4.3 GHz. With all of this said, definitely understand that none of this is verified, but it does seem to be right at what we'd expect with their upcoming line, at least based on other rumors and leaks. Honestly, when it comes to Intel's next generation of CPUs, I think their most difficult battle is going to be trying to juggle the task of staying competitive with AMD's Ryzen while not cannibalizing their just-released Core X CPUs. Of course, with motherboard prices already being far more on the X299 platform, it's going to be pretty tough not to price these at a point that doesn't make the 7800X look like a waste of money. The next bit of news for the day gives us some photos of the first X399 motherboard, the Zeus ROG Zenith Extreme motherboard. Originally announced from chiphell.com and once again found by video cards, the weird thing is that I can't seem to find where the original article is. But alas, these definitely aren't fake photos. Either way, while AMD is doing a webinar on the 25th to go over more of the Threadripper motherboards, we can at least get a glimpse of what they have to offer. As you can see, it's one beastly motherboard with just about everything you want, including of course, RGB. I kid, I know some love it and some hate it. Either way, the Zenith Extreme has it, but it's also got Wi-Fi antennas, PCI Express to M.2 slot card, 3-way SLI bridge, and honestly a good bit more. Even what appears to be STICKERS! I say that sarcastically, but hey, it's better than no stickers, and to be honest, this motherboard, while I'm sure it's going to be quite expensive, is completely packed with features. There doesn't seem to be a price on it just yet, but I'd expect to be pretty hefty. Lastly, while sticking to the last theme of motherboards, st sticking? <laughs> I know, I know, I suck. Anyway, for those who've been patiently waiting on a very, very high-end Ryzen motherboard, you're about to get your wish. ASUS just announced the X370 ROG Crosshair 6 Extreme Motherboard. Super long naming aside, this thing is also crammed with features, from control over individual LEDs on certain light strips to Bluetooth, 2x2 Wi-Fi antennas, tons of USB ports, and just about everything you'd expect from a fully featured high-end motherboard. According to Anantech, it'll be available in early August for $349, though I will say I'm not sure how accurate that is, as not everyone is reporting that part. Still, it's definitely something I know people have been looking for, and hopefully it'll scratch that itch. So while that does it for today's video, let me know what you thought of the news. Excited for Intel's newest Coffee Lake, or are you much happier with Asus's new Extreme Ryzen motherboard? Let me know in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.